So there was SatanCon 2023 over the weekend in Boston, Massachusetts. Here's a couple of their brave leaders up on stage in full rebellion of our living God as she shreds and tears the pages of the Holy Bible and throws them on the floor. Such wisdom, right? And uh, again, very sad. In their delusional minds, they think that they can escape God. Perhaps they think that Satan will actually defeat God. But this is, again, delusional. Here they're tearing up the thin blue line, police, American flag. Again, no authority. They hate all authority. They worship a created being in Satan. This guy, look at this guy with his tie-dye smock on. For some reason, he's going to grab a hammer and smash this keyboard. I, I don't know why. Maybe I don't need to know why. I don't really care. It's just all rebellion, isn't it? But the irony here is that he may have all the anger he wants to have. He may feel like he's in control. He has this false sense of security that somehow he's going to escape God, but he won't. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. This man refuses to see what lies ahead. Again, they all worship a created being. And so that day is coming for him as well as all the other Satanists who reject Jesus Christ. Now, here was an article, or here is an article on Yahoo about this, and they're showing the video. I just want to point out one part of this right here. The temple claims to be a non-theistic religious organization that does not worship or believe in a personal Satan, but rather aims to encourage benevolence and empathy, reject tyrannical authority, advocate practical common sense, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. They do worship Satan. Your first clue is when they start their meetings with Hail Satan. Now, even if you disagree with me and you say, no, they really don't worship Satan, it really doesn't matter. They're in full rebellion to the living God. They publicly reject Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. So it doesn't matter. They're doomed to an eternity separated from God in the lake of fire by their own choice. I think it's very sad. As we look at this up here, here's what I would encourage you to do. Pray for these people. Pray that peradventure God would grant them repentance to come to the truth of Jesus Christ, the saving grace. Again, they will not escape judgment. We all have an appointment to stand before Jesus Christ and give an account. And I pray that they would realize this in Jesus Christ's name, because they are in full-blown delusion and rebellion. So pray for them. This would be a great victory, again, that God would grant them repentance, that they would realize the love of Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross. There is no escape. And this is only going to get worse. You're going to see these type of events, this type of rebellion, get worse. Our Bible tells us that evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. So get in your prayer closets. Pray for this. The power of God can defeat anything. So until next time, God bless.